Castro. Uh... Now at six, a bicyclist in the wrong place at the wrong time, the victim of a deadly hit and run. We've got the latest on what police are calling now a dangerous trend. Plus, a deadly and chaotic RV chase. Cameras captured a suspect barreling through the streets as police scrambled to stop the spree. Everybody, I'm Rick Chambers. And hi, I'm Courtney Friel. The KCLA 5 News at 6 starts right now. And we begin with that breaking news in Charlottesville, where at least one person has been killed and dozens hurt in the violence fueled by a rally of white nationalists. Yeah, that one person died when a car drove into a crowd of counter protesters there. But two police officers have also been killed in the crash of a helicopter not far from there. The helicopter belonged to the Virginia State Police. It apparently went down in a wooded area just a few miles from the site of the protest. Virginia State Police confirmed two people inside were killed. No one on the ground apparently though was hurt. And President Trump has tweeted condolences to the families of those two state troopers. KTLA 5's John Finolio is live in our newsroom with the latest on the rally and the violence. Hi, John. Good evening, Court and Rick. The clashes began last night when scores of white supremacists and anti-Semites gathered to protest the removal of a statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee. Today, the demonstrations turned deadly. We have to warn you that some of the images you are about to see are graphic. <laughs> 